So if you don't know me, one of the things that you figure out pretty quickly is my heart for missions. I talk about it all the time, and I can't help it. It's something that I'm passionate about, and that's because ever since middle school, I felt like God is leading me to serve overseas in the mission field. It's exciting, right? When you feel like God is leading you so clearly to do something, it's amazing to think that he has such a perfect plan and allows us to get a glimpse of it and to follow him in that. But just because it's exciting and amazing and all that doesn't mean that it's always easy. You can bet that if God is leading you one way, Satan's pushing back, trying to get you to go the exact opposite way. And we all see that in obstacles that keep coming up on our path as we're trying to follow where God is leading us. That always happens. And I've definitely seen that, especially in this case, and a recent example of that happened earlier this semester. See, we had a mission conference at our school, and I was excited for that since the beginning of the school year when I heard it was happening. All these different missionaries and agencies coming in, and speakers, I was so ready to hear about the work that God was doing all around the world, and people who are so passionate about missions too, I couldn't wait. That should have been one of the best weeks of the year. And it was, it was great, but it was also one of the worst weeks of the year for me. See, that week, Satan put a huge obstacle in my path of following God in this pursuit of serving overseas in the mission field. And that obstacle was myself. My own doubt, my own discouragement. And it was crippling for that week and for a while surrounding that. See, I have been blessed to grow up in a Christian family. Both my parents are believers and my two sisters, but most of my extended family are not believers. And a lot of my friends back home aren't either because of always going to public schools growing up, being super involved. And so for my whole life, I've been praying for these people. I've been trying to be intentional through conversations and interactions and sharing the gospel with them and haven't seen fruit. And it's discouraging. But for most of my life, that was just a sad thing, but it was a normal part of life, something I'd accepted. And that week and over the course of weeks surrounding that week, it suddenly became a huge obstacle standing in my way. Instead of being some sad reality that was just normal for me, that was a huge issue of fear and of doubt and of questioning of, can I actually serve this way? So as missionaries were coming in and speaking of what God was doing, I was hearing, Michaela, are you, are you really sure that you can do that? You know, you want to go share the gospel with other people in other nations and be a part of the church planning movement, but how successful have you really been with your own family, with your own friends? So far, you're not doing so good. And I started questioning. I had never imagined doing anything besides missions, so I didn't know what else I would really do, but... All of a sudden, I wasn't so sure that missions was where I was supposed to be. You know, why would God want me to do that? And I doubted it for a long time. And that obstacle was a huge stumbling block for me, and I let it become a big issue. But eventually, through a lot of time in scripture and in prayer, and when I was finally humble enough to talk to some people about it, through encouragement from other believers, God finally got through to me the truth that I can't do it. Not on my own. Not if I try and rely on my own strength. There will always be obstacles in the way whether it's my own doubt or whether it's circumstances beyond my control. But with God, all things are possible. And through all of it, there's a scripture that I kept going back to for encouragement and still keep holding on to sort of as my battle cry. And it's 2 Corinthians 10, verse 5. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. I love that. We take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. See, you whether you're called to missions or it's something else, we all have things that God is leading us to do in our lives, and there will always be obstacles that Satan puts in the way. That's how it is. And maybe that's some family crisis, maybe that's sickness or a circumstance you can't avoid, but I think often it's ourselves and our own discouragement, our own doubt about what we can do. But we need to take captive those thoughts and make them obedient to Christ because we are weak and we can't do it on our own. But with God, all things are possible. So that's my challenge to you is don't be afraid to follow where God is leading you. If you're doubting your own ability to do it, you're right. You can't do it on your own. But with God, we can do amazing things for his kingdom. That's right. Lord, I thank you so much um, that you just call us to be your own and that you allow us to do incredible things for your kingdom. Lord, I pray that you would just give us a spirit of courage and of joy that we would follow wherever you're leading, whether or not it's easy. Lord, I pray that you would just help us to be grounded in the truth of who you are who you say we are in you, and that you would just continue to guide us and give us faith to trust that with you all things are possible. In your name we pray. Amen. <coughs>